Hi, this is Danny. Uh, I'd like to review my uh, the first year of my install, my solar install that you may have uh, watched on my YouTube channel. Um, so what happens is you need to go into a point of use um, calculation on your billing when you, um, at least for Southern California Edison, um, when you switch over to uh, you know, when you sign your agreement, your permission to operate with Edison. And so what happens is um, you don't produce solar at these times and you get charged super off peak rates. And then um, you get um, charged um, off peak rates during th these hours. Uh, however, we're producing, so uh, I actually get a credit during um, these hours right here between 9 and 1. And then um, you get into the on-peak um, hours, and that starts at about 2 p.m. right now in the winter and goes, I guess, until about 7. And then um, you get off-peak rates after that. So um, that's, that's kind of, um, you know, what we're dealing with on the billing now I'm going to show um, roughly a little bit about the bill so you can see that um, this is I'm covering it um, up this the title but um, basically um, the, this is the amount of energy that I took from the grid and then um, this is the amount that I produced and gave back so um, over time, you can see that I have, um, since I put my system in and around December, um, I, I, I um, just these two months, I kind of underproduce and then I overproduce the other months. So um, what happens is um, they charge you on a, they charge you three cents a day to uh, connect to the grid. And then um, you can see here that um, I overproduced by about one megawatt. So I get back um, five cents, uh, roughly five, five cents or 51, uh, 5.1 cents um, for my overproduction. And they settle up with me every year. Um, and then, um, so, so the way it looks uh, is you need to, um, on, on, each, on each bill, um, what they do is they charge you um, um, delivery charges on the power that you uh, um, take, take, take um, that you use. So um, they are basically charging you at night when you take power from the grid um, and then and when you're not producing it. And then um, so that so you sort of build up these delivery charges and then um, of course, um, if you you also give some things back to the grid and you get a credit for that for delivery. If I put back onto the grid, I get a credit. OK, and then um, for generation, they they have a similar uh, cost for generation. So um, for instance, um, the most expensive uh, time to um, it looks like to um, use the grid whether you um, to, to pull things off the grid is you know it's going to cost you about um, you know 17 cents a, a, a kilowatt um, versus at night it's not going to they don't charge you that much to operate it's a you know almost a quarter of the cost or something like that at night so um, generation it runs the same way um, they'll charge you a net um, you know generation charge like um, off peak I put back on to the grid as you can see here um, and then so all that activity sort of totals up to a $14.65 
you know, credit that I can carry forward to different periods. Um, this it's th this just is, this is just for 33 days. But like for instance, if I was going to I could I could get a credit and I could consume that credit, you know, next next year if or next not next year but next month, um, and then it true up at the end of every year. So um, that's kind of how it works. The issue I think that you that you run into sometimes is. Um, you've got to pay um, taxes um, for the for the also which is about three cents uh, everything that you uh, take off the grid um, you're gonna to have to pay about a three three cent um, per kilowatt um, tax also in city and local taxes bonds or whatever anyway um, I hope you um, found this useful and I'll see you on the next video